Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner. In this short video, I'll go through how to use the MailChimp Combine Audience tool. So let's go across to MailChimp itself. I'm in MailChimp viewing my audiences as you can see. Now, fewer audiences works better in MailChimp. What we do is we have as few audiences as possible. Uh, hopefully just one if, if that's at all possible and then we use segmentation for example to divide up that audience to target our marketing to get better results so we add everyone and their data into one audience and then we use segments to divide up those people by common interests how we want to market our product or service and so on so to combine audiences we have two options in MailChimp the one is we could export our contacts from one audience for example and then import them into another alternately MailChimp has and I'll just click the down arrow uh, next to stats in my audience has something called combine audiences so I'll be demonstrating this combine audiences to be absolutely honest I prefer exporting the audience so in other words I'd go into the audience I'll just wait for that to load up I would export my audience and MailChimp will give me uh, file CSV files uh, I then prefer to sort of get all that right and then go to my other audience and add contacts, import contacts. That's the way I prefer. But you can, of course, use this, uh, this, this combined audiences tool. So I'm just going to click the down arrow and click view audiences. So to demonstrate, what I'm going to do is against this audience called one so i've got audience one audience two against audience one i'm going to click combine audiences and show you what happens it's very quick and simple uh, so let's just look at our, our audience called one okay very small audience two people in there not a problem uh, first name for one person i've got some tags and so on and i'll just switch across very quickly to my audience two to demonstrate that wait for that to load up there we go, and I've got two people there. Uh, we've got a tag for some people and so on. So that's absolutely fine. Let's go back to view all our audiences. So again, next to view contacts, I'm going to click the down arrow, view audiences. And what I'm gonna do is against this audience called one, I'm gonna click the down arrow and click combine audiences to, com sorry, to combine it with that audience called two or named two. So I'm gonna click combine audiences and MailChimp then leads me through this, uh, this wizard. Combine the audience called one with which audience, and I could choose any, but in this case, I'll choose two, and I'll click next. And then there's a, the message, and I'll just read it out quickly. When you combine audiences, you will lose some data. You can view more information on, on, uh, on how to keep as much data as possible, as well as the specific data that is lost when you combine audiences. We recommend you download both audiences to make sure you keep your contact data. If you use our GDPR friendly forms, we do not recommend that you combine your audiences at this time. So absolutely, uh, you should download your data first just to make absolutely sure. And then we just type confirm, and I'm gonna click combine audiences. And it's a relatively quick process. And there we go. So what we can see has happened. If you remember, there were two, two contacts in this audience called one and two in the audience called two. So it hasn't deleted any of my audiences. What it's done is it's moved my people or my contacts from one into two. So it's moved my people from one into two. And it's, it's uh, I've therefore got a zero value of contacts in here. So um, that was just using the combined audiences tool. So if I now go into my audience call two, let's look what data is there. Okay, so these these two people were in my audience one. Um, I just know that. So what it actually does is it moves the data across, but it also updates with any fields that are already in my audience too. So for example, if this Gary plus 10 uh, email address was already in as a contact in audience two plus an audience one, it would have updated, and let's say the first name was in my audience one, it would have updated audience two to reflect that. So we can't have, of course, duplicate email addresses in the same audience in MailChimp. It needs to be unique in our MailChimp audience. But another thing that didn't come through 
is the tags did not come across from my audience one during the combine, plus groups won't come through. So again, I mean, my, my preferred way of doing it, I have to be honest, is to, um, uh, sorry, where am I? Export audience, uh, I, I usually do that, even export from both audiences, get it all together in, in Google Sheets or, or Microsoft Excel, and then I like to um, update or create a new audience. But even doing it, it that way, the manual way, you lose then your reporting data and so on. So there are benefits and um you know, some good things and bad things about both ways of doing it. But that's how we use combined audiences in uh, MailChimp. Please like this video and I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.